What you doing? <laughs> what you doing, baby? Yes, the baby. What's up, guys? Current time, 7. That's a little bit fast. 7, about 7.21 p.m. on the dot. Heading down to kickboxing, my friends. We haven't really filmed too much already today. We're doing a lot of researching on this GoPro drone. It is out, and it is looking very fantastic. Not quite lives up to the specs of the DJI Phantom 4, but the versatility is absolutely amazing, guys. And if you really add up the bundle deal, if you're a GoPro user already, it's kind of a no brainer to be honest with you guys it's absolutely a fantastic deal and i'm gonna try to reach out to one of my old regulars that i used to drive find out if we can get the friends and family discount that would probably take off at minimum 50 percent off definitely off the camera not sure if they're going to do that deal on the drone but we will see the hero 5 session and the hero 5 look absolutely phenomenal definitely a nice sweet upgrade voice control definitely go on to YouTube or go on GoPro's actual website and take a little gander at that. I will definitely be considering that one, but I won't make my final decision until we find out what exactly is going on with the DJI new one. I forgot what the name of that one is called, but that one is gonna be foldable as well, so there's a lot to choose from, but go see exactly what you get with the GoPro and you'll be mind boggled at you just get a lot of devices backpack stabilization gimbal handheld and the drone I mean it's it's just awesome guys so let's get going let's go meet up with Natalie I haven't seen my wife in a few days so we're looking forward to that looking forward to a workout I'm feeling much better than I was last week so coach is gonna make me suffer because he didn't see me in class all week so it's gonna be a tough workout we're ready for it. We got the dry fit on. Let's do it. Hey, Macarena. I can't tell if being dark earlier affects traffic better or worse. I would think that the smoothness of traffic is better just because obviously like when it stays light longer, people are getting off work and the sun is setting in their eyes, which sometimes affects traffic. I definitely know what it does here because everyone's like squinting and they can't really see the road and the lines. Turn left on Camino Real. Oh, well thank you very much. I actually know where I'm going. I love navigation, my friends. Anyway, so I can't tell if traffic's better. For some reason tonight though, it was smooth sailing, my friends. Well guys, every time I pull into this car, complex it's an absolute joy but i know pain is coming in the form of lots of sweat ladies and gentlemen 9 13 p.m in the evening whoa sweating real good absolutely fantastic super super tired needing to go home now shower of course eat get that nutrition in the books and then i still got to show you guys the dishware set that we found yesterday very nice with a couple surprises so stay tuned for that one let's get going because i need to get some food in my belly i'm starving <laughs> Hey guys, look at that, a little dark there, but look at that office chair sitting on my parents' neighbor's uh, curb there. Excellent, another curb alert. Sit, shake, shake, no, sit, shake, shake, shake. Good girl, good girl. Use the babies, use the babies. That's it tonight, that's it tonight, only two tricks. Yes, the babies. Don't tell grandma I gave that to you, don't tell grandma. What's up guys, current time 12.37 a.m. in the morning. Cousin Seth is fast asleep and he wanted me to roust him when he wanted to go out because we're gonna go do a little hunt tonight. And I was like, man, you're out cold, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let him sleep, let him go ahead and just dive on into that delicious sleep action. Well, someone has to stay with grandma, you know what I'm saying? I don't want grandma waking up just in case and going, where is everybody? So he's at home, I'm sneaking out and I'm trying a couple new game stops. So I'm crossing my fingers and hoping that we had a good weekend dump 
and trash hasn't been picked up yet. And that's what we're hoping for. So wish me luck, we're gonna hit two of them and then we might hit up a couple cell phone stores, call it a night because I still have to edit this vlog, get to bed, grandma wakes up super duper early and we do have to prepare breakfast for her. Well, what I'm probably gonna do, prepare it the night before, stick it in the refrigerator and it's all good. Let's go. Alrighty, my friends, there is GameStop up there on the straight left-hand side. Sweet. So what we're gonna do here is I've already scouted it out on Google Maps and saw the satellite view. So I'm just gonna pull in behind GameStop, see if the dumpster is right there. Your destination is on the right. Destination on the right. And it looks like one way do not enter. Looks like the trash cans are back here. So let's go ahead and take a little look see. Again, I Google Map this satellite view before I headed down here. So I know what I'm getting myself into. I know my exits. Dumpster is right here. It is out in the open, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and park this way, right here in this spot right here. Obviously, I'm kind of hanging right out in the open. There's the intersection I just pulled in, but again, I'm gonna go fast. Guys, look at this. We got some really cool cigar boxes back over here behind GameStop. A bunch of just cigar boxes right there. Very, very cool. There are a few other boxes I wanna look at. There are some GameStop boxes, nothing major I've seen so far, but again, a bunch of cigar boxes. Let's look underneath this one real quick. Well, just popped over behind Nutra Shop on the way to the next GameStop. Hey, there's a nice little uh, double sink, his and hers, if you're into that. Even has all the copper wire, and not copper wire, but the braided wire. Hey, you could even pull off a little brass on there if you wanted to. That's probably open game, huh? How about that? Definitely need to be careful. Something that I'm forgetting about, guys. I never see any homeless people in dumpsters around where I dive, but I'm noticing some like areas where some have slept in the past. You definitely need to be careful about that. You don't want to take a blind corner in a neighborhood and all of a sudden be surprised. Uh, so definitely be careful, guys, because you never know uh, what you can get yourself into. And not to mention, also be very safe. I never have to really kind of think about that where I am, but you should always pay attention to contraband in dumpsters, wear gloves. You definitely don't want to be touching something that might potentially give you a health hazard, guys. So definitely steer clear in certain neighborhoods. You definitely have to have more antennas up ready to pounce. What's cool is that the name is getting next game stops only a mile and a half away, actually 1.2 miles away. That's even closer. Sweet. There's grandma's church over there. Guys, in big shopping centers like this, you have a lot more um, safety, I guess you can call it, and probably you're not gonna get pulled over or security, whatnot. There's GameStop's dumpsters. Ooh, there's a lot of dudes on bicycles over here. Well, guys, make a long story short, it's just too hard to see what's GameStop trash and what is like Panda Express trash. Just nasty, especially if the GameStops are next to a restaurant. If the GameStops are like in a strip mall next to like a subway or something, that's a different story, but when they're next to like a restaurant, just piles and piles of trash just go on top of the stuff and it gets all mixed up, man. The GameStops that I've been to most of the time, like they're all just nasty. It's like you don't even want to dig in it. Well, you might find stuff every once in a while, but there's too many apartment complexes around here and not the really, really like high, high end ones. So unfortunately they have locked dumpsters as well, just because obviously people move out and they dump their personal stuff. Behind Behind Nutra Shop, I actually saw someone look like they remodeled their cabinets and dumped their old kitchen cabinets in Nutra Stop's dumpster. So obviously there's probably a lot of that going on around here. So anywho guys, it's definitely worth checking out new areas, you know, but gotta steer clear away from the GameStops with the nasty trash. Once you find that GameStop guys and it's popping, don't let it go. Don't let it go. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of you guys are commenting, talking about awesome GameStops and finding awesome things. And I'm like, man, where is all this stuff at? I'm not finding anything. I'm finding games that are broken. They take scissors to them, you know? But hey, to each their own, you know what I'm saying? Because again, that I'm definitely blessed with getting uh, more high-end apartment complexes. Others have a lot more better luck with the commercial. So it's kind of like, you know, some areas are better than others and vice versa, different avenues. So it's all good, baby. It goes around. Well guys, it's on the way home and we're gonna go ahead and stop by AT&T and Mobile one more time. 
We did see a couple days ago, we did see some workers leaving Baja Fresh pretty late. So I didn't really have a chance to like dig through any bags. So we're gonna go ahead and look one more time because I know they're doing that like trade your phone in thing for like Sprint, but there is an AT&T and a T-Mobile right here. So we're gonna go ahead and take a little quick gander real quick because if they're doing that trade-in deal with them as well. I think there might be another set of cans right here. I probably searched the right cans, but I'm gonna go ahead and search that pair of cans as well. First, I'm gonna drive by to see if these Baja Fresh people are still in there. Yeah, uh, I don't know if they are or not. I, see, I do see a car. So they might be like late night workers or something. I'm not exactly sure. Doesn't look like anyone's there. So I'm gonna go ahead and hunt these cans right here. And these are the same ones you guys saw probably a couple days ago. Let's go ahead and hunt these and then we're gonna go around closer to the hotel, see if those other cans were the cans. If not, if we don't find anything here. Well, I saw one AT&T box, but I did not see anything inside of it. But I did see two ripped bags, which means obviously that some workers are digging through the bags when they throw out those bags because they know that AT&T has probably thrown stuff out before and they're looking for cables, phones, old trade-in phones, etc. So obviously someone knows what's up. I am gonna hunt this set of cans right here. I don't know if this is part of the hotel or not, but I'm gonna go quick and just in case AT&T or T-Mobile comes over here instead of going over there. Well guys, that's gonna do it for me tonight. So I will see you guys tomorrow. God bless you, God protect you. Remember to carpe diem, baby. Live your dream. And if we got some action in the books, big, big things planned with Penny the dog, Seth the cousin, and Grandma Moss tomorrow. Later.